guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and I am the horror show host. And today I am taking a look at the Fly Collection from Scream Factory. But before I get into it, make sure to like, comment on, as well as share this video. Like my Facebook fan page, and to even support me on Patreon, a dollar a month could help keep the channel going on strong, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell, and as always, subscribe. Alright, let's get into this. So we have this awesome box with pictures from all the movies, all five movies in the Fly series. The most notable one is from the 86 movie. That's probably the most famous one. We also have the Telepod, so which I actually haven't seen the original three. I've seen the remake and its sequel. But I know the Telepods are in those movies, so. But this is a beautiful cover. I love the coloring, especially because you, you think of flies, you think ew, and ew is kind of like slime, and slime is green. It, it all kind of just goes together. And the blackish blue for the fly is perfect with the red eyes. It's just, it's a beautiful piece of art. It really is. And so is the spine. For this nice box that we have a little, we have a little fly on the bottom. It's a five disc set from Scream Factory. Not to forget the fly too, it's right there, the design for the creature. And then on the back we have Vincent Price and the famous scene where the woman screams as the reveal of the fly. We also have the help me scene. That's, that's famous enough for me to have not have seen the movie, but I've heard about it. It's gonna eat me. I don't remember, I don't remember if that's what he says or not, but I know he does say help me. <laughs> it's really funny. And we also have the face tearing off in that one scene from The Fly 2, which, love or hate that movie, the effects were awesome. There's the top. And the bottom. So overall, this is a slimy packaging. Now let's take a look on the inside and at each individual disc. So first up, we have The Fly from 1958. Now, this is a bona fide 50s classic. I've seen the scene where he comes out of hiding and he shows his, I think, a lab assistant or wife his face and it's just a big fly head. It's, it's awesome. That's her reaction right there. I need to watch these movies and to review them for you guys. So that's the back. And for the special features, we have audio commentary with actor David Al Hedison and film historian David Del... Valley. So I'm trying to keep the glare off of this while reading it. We have a biography of Vincent Price, Fly Trap, Catching a Classic. That's actually pretty clever. I like that. Fox Movie Tone News, Theatrical Trailer, and a Still Gallery. So yeah, that's a neat, nice amount of special features for such a for a box set. Usually box sets like back in the early 2000s, they give you the movies and that's it. I like that these collector's edition box sets have been coming out recently. Here's the spine, which does look nice with the box set. Once it's done, I'll show you all the spines. And there's the Blu-ray. And there's the back photo, black and white. I'm not going to take out the disc because I don't want to drop it. Especially at this really awkward camera angle. Return of the Fly. Now, believe it or not, I didn't actually know there were sequels to the original 1958 film. Until now. Return of the Fly. It's, uh... It's something. It's got a neat cover. That's for sure. There's the spine. The back again, black and white photos. This film is from 1959. So a year later. The special features include new audio commentary with actor David Frank Ham. Audio commentary with actor Brett Halsey and film historian David DelVale. Theatrical trailer, TV spot, and still gallery. So we get two audio commentaries on this sequel that I'd never even heard of. That's really cool. You also get a couple other special features like the theatrical trailer uh, and still gallery and TV spot. So that's, that's really nice for this release. 
Um, does this even have Vincent Price? It does have Vincent Price in it. Okay. I was going to say, without that star power, I, w I, w I would be shocked to see all these audio commentaries on here, but with Vincent Price, it's more understandable. And then we have the third and final installment in the 50s or to early 60s fly films. It's called The Curse of the Fly. This is from... Oh, wow. This is from 1965, so about six years after the second movie. All we get for special features is a TV spot and still gallery, so there's a lot less on this one. But it does have critical praise, horror, science fiction, and crime all combined to create a twisted tale. That's not much of a praise, but okay. It's pretty basic sounding. I uh, don't know why they put that on there. Maybe because all of them have praise on their back covers. And I think I, I forgot to show you guys the disc for The Fly 2. The Return of the Fly. There it is. With the back image. Yeah. And the inside for The Curse of the Fly. Well, first off, here's the spine. And here is the inside. Nice. 1986's The Fly. Help me, please help me. I love the trailer for this movie. It literally says, The Fly. And then it's like, Help me, please help me. First time I showed my mom that, she was like, Aww. <laughs> then we watched the movie, she's like, Uh. <laughs> but uh, this is The Fly from 1986. It's one of the most famous, uh, well, it's one of the three remakes of 50s movies from the 80s, along with The Thing and The Blob. Um, this and the blob get overlooked by the audience members. The thing is the big one. This is such an amazing movie. Here's the back cover with Jeff Goldblum and the telepod. Uh, got a boatload of special features on this one. We have uh, new interviews with producers Mel Brooks and Stuart Kornfeld. New audio commentary with author William Beard. Uh, the artist as monster of the cinema of David Cronenberg. Audio commentary with director David Cronenberg. Three-part documentary with David Cronenberg. Deleted scenes with storyboard and script com comparisons. That's cool. Alternate ending. The Brundel Museum of Natural History. Promotional features, trailers, TV spots, and much more. So this is a big release from Scream Factory. And uh, Actually, I'm going to take the disc out for this one because the image is on the other side. Which... It's a pretty classic scene where he's climbing on the walls, on the ceiling, along with the spine. And last, but most certainly not least, the underrated, The Fly 2. Like father, like son. I actually have a soft spot for this movie. It's really good. It has a good comeuppance for the villain, and uh, the special effects are just amazing. Uh, there's so many things to like about this movie. Uh, there are some things that are a little bit uh, cliche, and of course they did that, of course they did this, but it works out, I think, in the end. The special features include new interviews with writer Mick Garrison, composer Christopher Young, special effects artist Tom Sullivan, and producer Stuart Kornfeld, audio commentary with director Chris Wallace, and film historian Bob Burns. Alternate ending, deleted scenes, the fly papers, the buzz on Hollywood's scariest insect, transformations looking back at the fly 2, vintage featurette, and more. That'd be the fly 2 special features. There's the spine. D oh, they didn't. They did. Oh, I gotta take that out now. They have like the saddest, well, the second saddest scene in the movie for the inside of the cover. Why, Scream Factory? Why? Why you do this to me, Scream Factory? I like you set the whole way through, and then you give me the bullcrap about the dog. It's bullcrap, you know. There's that. So as I said, I'm going to show you what the um, spines look like all together in the box. It really does look nice. It's a nice contrast with the green and dark blue. So green box, black spine. It really does look nice, and most of the uh, images on the top are white or uh, bright color, and the spines complement each other well. So 
So it's a really nice looking release. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I am Brian Gatto, the horror show host. Make sure to like, comment on, as well as share this video. Like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon. Even a dollar a month could keep this channel going on strong, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell, and as always, subscribe.